pure strains of pigeons don't really exist anywhere at all, only in the magazines and books and in the back of people's minds. The big sellers with pigeons, they have all the so-called strains. But if you go to any of these strains and really examine them, or a top fancier, that they, they say it's his strain, they come from three, four, or even five different families. You don't have to put um, two pigeons of the same strain together. You want good pigeons to good pigeons. All the main lofts in Belgium, the, the super lofts, do this. They don't have a strain. Nobody, Gabby van der Beele, one of the most talked about fanciers at this present time, he doesn't have a strain. He's got different pigeons from all over. But people, they must have a certain strain. And that, to me, uh, that's where a lot of them go wrong. And I said always, don't buy one pigeon. Go buy a fancier, and on the last, in the middle of the season, or on the last season, September youngsters. And that's are the best. When I go to the garden center, I buy a packet of seeds. And for me, the best way to improve your loft is to go to a good fancier. Somebody that's winning, somebody that's got good pigeons. They don't have to cost thousands of pounds. And they most certainly won't if you go to a, a fancier. I would actually go out and buy summer hatched youngsters for reasonable money of a good family and then start from there. You can do it in every country. In every country where there's the sport of pigeon racing, there's good flyers and bad flyers. There's good pigeons and there's bad pigeons. You go to a man in your, in your own society who is flying exceptionally well or in a society down the road. Ask him, can I have the eggs from your widows? Simple as that. You don't have to go and spend a fortune. And they cost not much, September youngsters, youngsters now. Hey, the, the people, they, they cannot, they don't dwell them because it is too late, he said. But that's are the best. Summer youngsters, September youngsters. 